Hello, my fellow parasites. Parasites, apologize! No. Anyway, welcome to season four of the Venom Vlog. This season we'll be covering Venom 2 movie news, more classic Venom and Carnage stories, the Spider-Man Maximum Venom animated series, and all comics involving Eugene Flash Thompson. So sit back and enjoy another exciting episode of The Venom Vlog. I'm Tom Hardy and you're watching The Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of The Venom Vlog. And I got another really quick one here for you today. This actually email, it popped up this morning to me and I wasn't sure I was gonna do anything about it at first, but then I saw a couple of people tagging me on Twitter about it. So I was like, all right, let's talk about it real quick, uh, which is the pop in the box is uh, the company is bringing back, they, they do like these cool exclusive Funko Pops. We talked about them recently. They did like the Carla Unger version of Carnage and the April Parker version of Mayhem, you know, the, the female symbiote Venom uh, from the MC2 universe uh, from Mayday Parker and stuff like that. That. So yeah, those are coming out from Pop in the Box. I think they're also doing the Absolute Carnage one, but then the Entertainment Earth has the one with the comic book. So we talked about all that recently, but it looks like they're bringing back one of their more popular pops, which is Agent Venom, who obviously we've been, you know, we're going to be focusing on again, but we've kind of geared season four around him and then like the forgotten Eddie Brock stories that we've already talked about, but now getting back into, you know, Flash Thompson. So they have a Agent Venom and an Agent Anti-Venom available, but I think you have to like, they limit it. I can't remember. I saw people like losing their mind over this before. I don't know if it was Eddie Mullet or if it was uh, the, Ve the Venom site guys, Bizarnage or not, but I think it was, they, they were all trying to like order, you know, the maximum I think at the time was like five or six of them. And you hoped that one of them was going to be the, the anti-venom, agent anti-venom. That was like the chase one. So you have to order the max and you might get one. And then, so, so a lot of people are getting really mad about that because they would order five and get zero agent anti-venoms. Um, and then they would order, like put in separate orders, like, you know, 15 total through three different credit cards or whatever, and they would still get no agent anti-venom. So it was just really random when they would just throw one of these into a box, I guess. And uh, so, yeah, I don't encourage you to, to buy, go buy 20 or 30 of these things. I'm sure Pop in a Box would love me to encourage you to do that. But, um, you know, I know that frustration. I have the worst luck with that stuff. I would buy, you know, 30 of them and still get none. I, you know, I know I wouldn't. So, uh, so yeah, even if the odds say that I would, I promise you, I'd f somehow the odds would find a way to not let me get one. But uh, yeah, anyway, so the image, you know, I showed you guys what it looks like, you know, Agent Venom, Agent Anti-Venom is the chase. It's the really hard one to get. It's available again for pre-order. So I'll put a link to that down below at Pop in the Box if you guys want to go check that out and add to your Agent Venom collection. So uh, that's it for this episode, just really quick and short. So go check that out and I'll have more videos for you guys soon. I have something coming in the mail uh, tomorrow Tomorrow, uh, hopefully, it's called the Dark Book, and it was a thing that was like an extension of a Marvel magazine, a uh, Wizard magazine, back in the day, back in the 90s, and uh, and the, it was like a little extra booklet, and it has Carnage on the cover. It says the Dark Book, and I think it's only like an examination of villains in the Marvel universe, so I don't think it ha is going to add anything canon wise or continuity wise but it's a cool image of carnage it's a really neat looking book and eddie's mullet was searching for one one day online and i you know i helped him find some on ebay and we each ordered one so mine should be coming in soon and when it comes in i'll definitely make a video and talk about it with you guys and then we'll also do rune versus venom coming up and then we'll get into the matt gargan stories beyond and then versus uh, moon knight the thunderbolts versus moon knight um, and then after that hopefully by the end of july we'll be getting back into the flash thompson comic book discussion stuff and we'll start where Rick where Spider Island left off and we'll get into uh, you know Circle of Four um, and then we'll get into uh, you know like the Toxin stuff with Eddie Brock and then we'll get into the Cullen Bunn stuff and we'll just keep on going and then the rest of the season for comic discussions we'll mainly focus on our friend Flash Thompson but we'll also have one more Carnage Week which we'll talk about um, some Minimum Carnage, Superior Carnage um, and then also uh, like the Carnage Solo series too so we'll have a lot of stuff coming up for you guys so I hope you guys stay subscribed so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.